Yes, guys. <clears throat> I'm back here again at St. John's Parish Church Cemetery to do another video of St. John Parish Church, which is located in the eastern parish of St. John. Right now, I'm looking down into Pop House Village, which is the district just beneath the church. Looking down to Pop House Village, which will lead you back to the Pop House Spring, and it can eventually lead you back down to Bath Beach as well. You can see Bath Beach here. <coughs> Bath Beach is also in St. John on the east coast. So right now I'm looking in the north or southeastern direction. So this is this part of St. John between St. John and St. Philip. So the part of St. John you can see from here is Bath Beach. Where the old Earth sat cable and wildlife Earth satellite station was. And you can see the ruins of the old Bath factory and sugar plantation. And you can see all up to the Ragged Point Lighthouse in St. Philip. And you can see Concept 40 School in St. Philip and College Savannah in St. John. College Savannah is in St. John, but that part of St. John is close to St. Philip. You can see the 40 School, 40 School area in St. Philip. And all up to the Ragged Point Lighthouse, East Point Lighthouse. This is one of the four or five lighthouses in Barrios. East Point Lighthouse in St. Philip to the east of it again. A southeastern direction. And this is the grave once more. I will start with this the grave of our Prime Minister, our sixth Prime Minister, David John Howard Thompson, Queen's Council and Member of Parliament. He was also the parliamentary representative for St. John. I forgot to mention that in my other video. David Thompson was about the sixth or so member of parliament from St. of St. John and he was originally born in England but he lived in Barbados he went to school at St. Gabriel's primary and then he, he, went, he moved on to Combermere secondary school which is one of Barbados' top and other secondary schools he was a member of the Democratic Labour Party and he was he was the he was under the right excellent Errol Walton Barrow, who was Barbados' first Prime Minister and father of independence. Errol Barrow was the Member of Parliament for St. John. And he took over Errol Barrow. He was a young, he was a young politician. He was in the politics from early. And then he became the leader of the Democratic Labour Party in 1994. After Lloyd Erskine Sanford, when he was the Prime Minister after he um Lost to Owen Arthur, who became Barbados' fifth Prime Minister. Lord Erskine Sanford was the fourth Prime Minister, and Owen Arthur was the fifth. And then David Thompson succeeded him. And he became the Member of Parliament. He became the leader of the opposition. That was in 1994. And then when he lost in 1990, I think, or 2003. 1999 election of 2003. And then he came back to assume his role as the opposition leader in 2006 and then he became the Prime Minister in 2008 briefly soon after he fulfilled his ambition as being the Prime Minister as he wanted to be he stepped in and he died on the 23rd of October 2010 at the age of 48 years Remember my way through the churchyard and give you guys a little bit of tears from the tombs. A bit of what I know. You can see the David Thompson Polyclinic here, which was named after him. And the infirmary. David Thompson Polyclinic. Oh, 
Coast Village and Bath Beach and again South East and towards St. Philip where the lighthouse is and so on. These are binoculars that gives you awesome views of the East Coast. And this is the sundial here which tells the time. This is the Taylor tomb here. I don't know much about the Taylors, but, but what I know, I will give you guys a history of. This is the Carter tomb here. So this grave, this church here has some of the oldest graves in the Caribbean. This is the Haynes tomb here. The Honorable Richard Haynes of Easy Hall Plantation in St. John. Easy Hall, Barlow, St. Joseph and St. John. The Honorable, and the un, who the eldest son of the Honorable J.A. Haynes of Newcastle Plantation. Who died the 8th of May 1937 at the age of 81 years old. And in loving memory of Mary Howell Haynes of Newcastle who died the 22nd of July 1957 at the age of 97. Rest in peace. This is the East Coast here now, North Easterly. So this is the church cemetery here. The grave of Ferdinandio Paleologus, who was buried Upright. He was here lies the body of Ferdinando Paleologus, descended from the Emperor line of the last Christian Emperors of Greece, church warden of this parish from 1655 to 1656, vestryman 20 years, who died the third of October 1678. So this is St. John's Church Cemetery. Henry Noel St. John. Oh, I now remember the story. Charles F. Austin, he was the grandfather of Barbados' fifth, no, Barbados' third Prime Minister, Bernard St. John. I forgot that. I will be sure to remember it. You know, Charles F. Austin. Charles Austin. Charles Miller Austin of Malvern Plantation in St. John. He was the first person of color to be buried in this churchyard. And he was the wife, he was the grandfather of Bernard's Howard Bernard St. John. His daughter married to a St. John. The right pronunciation is St. John. As in the person's last name, St. John was supposed to be St. John. So Charles Miller Austin of Marvel Plantation, who was born the 26th of May 1857 and died the 11th of August 1942. He was the grandfather of Bernard St. John, who succeeded Tom Adams after he died. Bernard St. John served briefly as Barbados' fourth prime minister after he succeeded Tom Adams after Tom Adams died. And Henry Noel St. John. He was born the 17th of December 1924 and died the 23rd of November 1966. That would have been Bernard St. John's father and the Barrow tomb here. Ambrosine Barrow, Bernard Leslie Barrow, and Eustace Seagill. 
husband of my girl. And the Eastern Gullet, who was the, the relative of Sir Fred Gullet. So this is the color tomb area, the color area, the color tomb area here, the color grave. This is the Skinner grave and the Chase grave. So information that I'm getting will be, in, be, will be from Professor Henry Fraser and also um, Trevor Marshall who for historians, retired historians at the University of the West Indies at Cape campus and they are also from St. John. St. John is the parish in which most of the Barbadian white population originated. They originated in the parish of St. John at plantations Majority of the white Barbadian population, like the same Henry Fraser and Kevin Simpson, who was the owner of Simpson Motors Limited, and also the um, Sir Charles Offney Williams and his brother Ralph Basie Williams. The Charles Offney Williams is referred to by many Barbadians as Carl Williams. Now he is from St. John, he's also laid to rest at St. John Parish Church as well, looking at the East Coast now in a northeasterly direction. You can see down to Martins Bay in St. John, and all down to Bathsheba and Catawash and St. Joseph, all on the East Coast. So you can see St. Joseph and St. Andrew from here, which is a part of the Scotland district. And you can see all across the Pequot Tenerife to the north, further north. The, the Mary's tomb. The Estwick tomb. Thomas Estwick. So, this is St. John's Churchyard, the nearest tomb here. The family of burying place of Joseph Briggs Mears, a native of this island, for more than 40 years, a resident in the colony of British Guyana. I am to be gathered unto my people, bury me with my father. So some of the tombs speak for themselves. Looking at the beautiful East Coast. Here in Barbados, looking in the southeastern direction towards Bathsheba, Catawash, or all of the St. Andrew. Bathsheba is in St. Joseph on the east coast, and Catawash as well. You can see all up in the hills of the Scotland district with St. Andrew and St. Joseph. So you can see all up in Margon Lewis Hill in St. Andrew, and all in Chalky Mount in St. Andrew as well. So this is St. John Parish Church again. This is one of the most beautiful churches here in Barbados once again. St. John Parish Church is one of the most beautiful churches here in Barbados. And the columns are very unique. They have different, more than one column to form one column. And this is the spiral staircase. And this is the lovely baptism font here. Back in the church again. Before I go up, I will show you guys this. This um, sculpture is supposed to be predict, uh, depicting Madonna and Child. Madonna and Chow. Can 
to the pipes for the organ. Years ago, the pipes, the organ used to be up here. Uh, also, this organ was played by a lady by the name of Miss Audie Codrington, who was the organist of St. John Parish Church for many years. The Ten Commandments is inscripted in the back of the pipes. I think these pipes are just for show now, or the sound system comes from the pipes. You see the speakers here as well? The Ten Commandments is just behind the pipes. Uh, it is very airy up in here as well. Uh, all under our feet are tombs as well. And this is the pulpit here once again that is made out of six different types of wood. The lovely chancel. is made out of six different types of wood. And this is the chancel where the choir sits. The Reverend, this is a memorial of the Reverend William Leslie, who was the first priest of this church. First rector from 1653 to 1676. Grandson of the fifth laird of Karen Christie. Um, great great grandson by his grandmother of John Leslie, eighth Baron of Balcrane. The lovely Rabidos and the stained glass window. The chancel here where the choir sits. And this is the organ here. So tourists come and visit this church, and some of them make their pilgrimage here. The organ here now, the new organ. Hey, hey. In loving memory of Carrington Haynes, born at Newcastle, Barbados, on the 7th of February, 1858, died at Woodlands, Hampshire, England on the 20th of November in 1945, and his wife, Georgine, Helen Georgina Haynes, born in South Africa on the 30th of June, 1860, and died in London on the 9th of October, 1958. And again, this is a memory of the parents of Professor Henry Fraser, Who was born in St. John? He's one of the white Barbadians from St. John. In memory of Robert Stuart Fraser, who would be Henry Fraser's father, who was born the 15th of October 1903 and died the 6th of April 1993. He was the parochial treasurer of this parish in 1944 to 1959, and his wife, Lorian Mitchinson Fraser, born the 17th of July 1911 and died the 26th of October 1994. She was the mistress of this parish from 1941 to 1960, and really resided at Spooners in St. John. This is just fast forward, heading up to St. John Parish Church. They have resided there from Spooners. So she, <coughs> so the father used to the parochial treasurer, so all people, people from all over St. John used to go to his house at Spooners to pay the taxes, bicycle taxes, land taxes, and other stuff. And while well, the mother was the postmistress, she was the postmistress of St. Peter and St. James, and then she was the postmistress of St. John. And it was also stated that, he, that she taught Henry Fraser in his primary life. So he did not go to a primary school, he went, to, he went straight on to secondary school because she homeschooled him. Professor Henry Fraser is still alive. The Gothic style the windows here at St. John Parish Church. The 
we've got to show you the grave of Iris Banoki in this second vlog. Iris Banoki, who, who was the founder of Andromeda Gardens, which is also in this parish. I mean, it's in Georgia. Which is a plant which is, which lives with plants and flowers. Baptism of font here again. Yes, there's all the tourists are coming into St. John. Parish. All the tourist buses are coming into St. John Parish Church once again. Pay a visit to this beautiful romantic site here in Barbados. St. John's Parish Church is also a building of historic and architectural interest in Barbados. History of the church here again, and this is the rectory where the priest lives. Canon Mears was the last priest who used to live here. Canon Jeffrey Mears. Thank you guys for watching now, and do have a blessed evening. Here you can even see the East Coast as well, once again. So St. John Parish Church sits on a cliff at Hackerton's Cliff, which is a part of Hackerton's Cliff here in St. John Barbados. Thanks for watching once again guys and have a blessed evening.